God, we got a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was another shooting. I know. At the school. Right. And, uh, y you don't care? Sure. But I mean, I'm no longer allowed in schools. Oh, snap! How you like them apples? Atheists. Bam! Um, th that's not just for atheists. That's to facilitate religious liberty in general. Whatever. Besides, y y you're omnipresent. Yeah? So? That means you're everywhere all at once. The bullets had to literally pass through you on their way to taking the lives of children. True, but government school faculty is no longer allowed to lead, direct, or compel children to pray to me. So fuck them. But children can and do pray in school. You're just allowing children to be killed because the government doesn't organize public prayer to you? Yep. And those other countries? What do you mean? Every other first world nation is far less religious than the United States, yet they have far fewer, if any, mass shootings, and the ones they did have were usually committed by people who believe in you and pray all the time. Oh shit. What? There's other countries besides the United States. Well, of course there is. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to make sure those other countries get flooded with mass shootings too, so that their governments will compel people to pray to me again. Well, that doesn't seem to work at all, but I know how you like big government. Of course, big government is always so competent and rarely does anything wrong, so it's only natural to want them to direct people's religious activities. So yeah, I absolutely love big government. Uh, sh should we do anything about guns? No, idiot. People need them to rise up against big government. Oh, okay, um... Why should they rise up against big government if big government is so great? Uh, in case the government becomes tyrannical. And a government imposing religion on people isn't tyrannical? Nope. And if the government goes to war for unjustifiable reasons, that is not tyrannical? Nope. And if the government, say... <gasps> becomes a highly corrupt oligarchy that creates an illusion of a two-party democratic republic but is actually just a singular plutocracy taking bribes to give privileges to elite corporatists who undermine capitalism and manipulate markets with catastrophic consequences only being paid by the lower classes so that they can fearlessly funnel wealth however they see fit regardless of conflicts of interests or gross incompetence? That isn't tyrannical? Nope. And if they tried different gun regulations? Lock and load, motherfucker! I was conflicted about making this video when I first thought of it, because I did not want to take advantage of a tragedy. But that did not last long, as I quickly understood that I wasn't taking advantage of a tragedy, I was responding to people who were taking advantage of a tragedy. If their atrocious ideas did not exist, then my cartoon would also not exist. Regardless, I feel we should reserve some benefit of the doubt to those who offer solutions after a tragedy and not merely assume the worst of them. When people offer solutions, however, that have been thoroughly debunked as utterly ineffectual, like prayer and censorship of entertainment like music, movies, and video games, it's clear that such people become additional obstacles in the effort to find real solutions especially when there are our very legislators, as many of them are. So that is why I gave myself permission to make this video. Don't let good ideas be drowned in a sea of bad ideas. Thank you. <laughs>